Well, you may be wishing folks a happy new year still, but retailers have already moved on to the next celebration. <laughs> Valentine's Day. They always are. <laughs> that tops today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Lay Miz at Walton Arts Center. Okay, Josh, I've got some great stories for us today. Yes, <laughs> I love it. To talk about <laughs> these. Okay, so if you found yourself in a situationship in 2024, Ooh. well, Sweetheart's Candy uh, may have the perfect treat for you. The candy brand known for its heart-shaped candies with sweet nothings written on them is releasing <laughs> a limited edition situationship box for those not in a traditional relationship oh. this year. The term situationship has grown in popularity. It was even in the top four words of 2023 by Oxford University Press. The new heart candies feature blurry misprints that the brand <laughs> is calling messages as blurry as your relationship. <laughs> the I love limited that. edition situationship candy of sweethearts. They do go on sale on January the 8th. Josh, what do you think okay. about these? Okay, so I'm looking at this right now with the, the blurriness of the, the text and everything. Sure. Isn't that just normal sweethearts candy anyway? <laughs> like, like, miss you, love you, but these are kind of blurry. And the fact that I feel like, you know, sweethearts is throwing a little shade, like, you know, as blurry as your relationship, because you know, <laughs> you're apparently in a situation. The, the, the lines of communication, it may not be clear on what's actually happening. Yes. Um, but I love this idea. Yeah, you say there's some fog or some clouds on the horizon you know, there. Always trying to connect it to the weather. It could maybe even yeah. put some pressure on your significant other to be like, listen, what are we doing? <laughs> Yeah, I might, I might need to give some of those to the weather world here in Northwest Arkansas, especially when we have winter weather. It's always a situation ship. It's That's always fair. blurry here. That. Okay, well, Starbucks customers rejoice. The coffee company has re introduced a new way that you can enjoy your favorite drinks. Starby Ooh. lovers can now use their own personal cups for drink orders. Now, this is part of the company's bid to reduce uh, cup waste sent to landfills. Customers can order with their clean personal cups in store or through the drive through The option also available for mobile orders and can be used for all drinks and sizes. Now, there is even a little financial incentive for customers who do decide to bring their own personal cups. They'll get a 10 cent discount on their beverage and the U.S. Starbucks reward members will get 25 bonus stars. Oh, nice. Yeah, Crystal Martinez and I have already decided that we're taking our huge, like, Yeti cups and huge <laughs> water bottles to Starbucks and be like, here you go. You're really taking advantage of this. Put that yes. creme brulee latte in here. What about just take a whole Yeti cooler? Like, can yep. you fill up the Yeti cooler? Yep. I mean, that's, that's something you can put something in, that's, right? That's yes. fine, too. I mean, Starbucks is going to probably have to put some limits on what they're going <laughs> to be able yeah. to fill uh, per customer. Yeah, people are going to be really pushing that for sure. What What's your go-to Starbucks order, by the Okay, way? so I love seasonal drinks at uh -huh. Starbucks. So like right now, um, well, during the holidays, they had the uh, creme brulee latte. Ooh, so that's yes. what I usually get with oat milk. So I don't know, uh, you know, wintertime, I love peppermint. So like a peppermint mocha, yes. I usually get that. What about you? Uh, hot chocolate. And because and, yes. I don't I don't drink coffee yeah. and I do like their teas there, too. They have some oh, yes, good yes, like, yes. green tea. They do everything. have really good tea. Yes, but uh, I'm a hot chalky guy. I'm a kid at heart. I'm never right. going to get over it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you need an incentive to keep your New Year's resolution, well, here's a sweet deal. Halo Top Ice Cream is offering money for those who have 2024 goals. The company says they will give 10 people with resolutions an endorsement deal to be a Halo Top Ooh. athlete. Athletes will be chosen. Uh, athletes that get chosen, they get $5,000 each. They get exclusive apparel and individual coaching sessions. And of course, it wouldn't be a Halo Top offer without free ice cream. <laughs> Applications, they are available through the company's website through January the 20th. Endorsement candidates, you do have to make a video each week for eight weeks that'll be tracking your progress. Okay. You know what, I have yet to have Halo Top ice cream, but what if ice cream is on my New Year's resolution list to stay away from? Well, right, well, it, I mean, it has to be a healthier alternative, right, if you know that it has athletes promoting it and everything, but. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point though, I've never had Halo Top either, but I will definitely have it if they introduce a Baja Blast flavor. Because okay. you know Baja Blast Put is currently out there. in stores now? Yeah, I think we need to pitch this right there and maybe okay. get a little share in the company as well, make a few extra thousand dollars here. I think we could take it. Okay, if yes. you do that Halo Top, you heard it for, uh, first right here on Good Day in WA from Josh Wright. Exactly, yeah, maybe <laughs> the president of the company. <laughs> All right, well, speaking of resolutions, of course, a lot of people are partaking in dry January. Yes. Well, it turns out that according to a new study that it may actually improve your overall health. The study claims that those who partake in this trend, which of course swears off the use of alcohol for the entire month of January, reap benefits for 
for at least six months after. That's awesome. An expert says that benefits have been found to lead uh, to recovery from alcohol dependency and drinking habits, which can lead to a change in your lifestyle. People can feel positive effects in little as 48 hours and can expensive, uh, experience better sleep, more energy, and improvements in smell hmm. and taste after a month of not drinking. I've already failed yeah. at this challenge because I did have some <laughs> Prosecco on January 1st, so no dry <laughs> January for me, but I do know a lot of people that do partake in dry January. Yeah, I think that's an awesome tradition right there. And again, I, I drink more socially and everything, but I think Same. that's really cool. New Year's yeah. resolution right there. Good goal to set. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Well, Elvis will be back in 2024. The king of rock and roll is set to make an appearance in the UK, but of course, via AI oh, and holograms. So this is like a kind of immersive experience that people will be able to launch, uh, walk through. This is going to launch in November. But I have to tell you, I am a lover of these immersive kind of art experiences. Experiences. I yes. went to an immersive Van Gogh um, in Canada last year and loved it. So I feel wow. like seeing Elvis like this, I would probably be screaming, the king, the king, <laughs> yes, Elvis, the king. I love you, I yes. love you, Elvis. So this is super cool, I like that. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to let my mom know about that too. She was a huge yeah. Elvis oh. fan when she was young, so yes. I definitely would be interested. Well, it does have plans to come across the pond to Las Vegas. Ooh, nice. 